Hello everyone, myself Paula Mokwan, Assistant Professor of EC Department at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the session of Cellular Communication. In the previous session, we have finished unit number 3, that is the Geostationary Orbit. Now, in today's session, we are going to start the next chapter, that is unit number 4, that is a video wave propagation. In this session, we are going to cover the basic introduction and what are different losses. Like my signal is going to be traveling through a space, right? So it can be atmospheric loss, ionospheric loss, and based on the weather condition, it can be a rate attenuation, right? Starting from the introduction, as my signal is traveling between the earth station and the satellite must have to pass through the earth's atmosphere as the earth has earth's atmosphere has a different layers right? like troposphere, ionosphere and the free space right? so some of this important of these impairments are like atmospheric loss, atmospheric effect, and the rate attenuation. Alright? So this graph represents the height in kilometer versus the different layers. Okay? So based on the height different layers are identified okay up to certain kilometer from 0 to 90 kilometer it is the earth's troposphere then 100 to 400 it is atmosphere and more than 600 it is a free space so as my signal is going to travel from this earth to the satellite it has to pass through troposphere ionosphere and the free space all right and some part of the signal is going to be absorbed in these layers. So what are the cause of this absorption? For that, we are going to start first the atmospheric loss. Now how this loss occur? This loss occur in the Earth's atmosphere as a result of energy absorption by the atmospheric gas because in the atmosphere different gases are present oxygen, nitrogen, likewise carbon dioxide right so based on the number of gases present in the atmosphere there is going to be attenuated and going to be absorbed so these losses are treated a quietly separate from those which result from the adverse weather condition. Right? So to distinguish between these cases like weather related loss which are known as the atmospheric attenuation and the absorption loss which is simply known as the atmospheric absorption. Alright, so based on the gases which are already present in the atmosphere, how they are going to absorb, at which frequency they are going to absorb, it is this. So, this atmospheric absorption loss, which varies with the frequency as shown in this diagram, on the y axis it is a frequency on the x axis it is a the transmission attenuation okay or you can say attenuation and dv all right we can see from this graph that we are getting a two peak one peak at approximately 22 gigahertz and the second peak which is approximately at 60 gigahertz. Alright? 
All these frequency ranges are in terms of beta hertz because we are dealing with the satellite communication. Right? And we are using C frequency, C band, K band, and the car band for satellite communication. That we have already discussed. Okay? So, based on the content of water vapor, We are getting a peak at 22 gigahertz. That means the attenuation is around 0.8 mm due to the based on the water in the atmosphere. Okay. And second, we are getting the second peak approximately at the 60 gigahertz. So this attenuation is around 120 dB. Alright? So from this diagram we are able to conclude that for presence of water and the presence of oxygen we are getting the attenuation. That means my signal is going to be absorbed in the atmosphere. Okay? For a specific frequency So, it caused by the difference in the atmospheric refractive index. Alright? What do we mean by refractive index? That we have discussed in the subject of optical communication. Which in turn results in focusing and the defocusing of radio waves. And based on that, a signal is travelling from the lower refractive index to the higher refractive index signal is going to be refracted okay and if the signal is traveling from the higher refractive index to lower refractive index the signal is going to be reflected all right the concept was done in the optical communication is a total internal reflection in the optical fiber cable all right what is atmospheric effect the radio waves which are traveling between satellite and the earth station must have to pass through the ionosphere, right? So this ionosphere is the upper region of earth's atmosphere in which the ions are present, okay? And they are going to be ionized by mainly the solar radiation. So this free electron in the ionosphere are not uniformly distributed. So based on that, it causes scintillation, absorption, variation in the direction of arrival, propagation delay, dispersion and the change in the frequency. Apart from that, the polarization rotation is also there. So all this effect will go to decrease as the frequency is going to increase. Alright? So mostly in the inverse proportion to the frequency square. Only the polarization and the scintillation effects are the major concern for the satellite communication. Right? So this is the atmospheric effect. Now, what is rain attenuation? Now, the rain attenuation is the function of rain rate. By rain rate, it is the rate at which a rain water would accumulate in the rain gauge situated at the ground. Okay? So, based on that, we are able to calculate the rain rate is an RP. The specific attenuation. How they are going to calculate it? Small a is equals to alpha rp raised to v. That is dv per kilometer. But if you are going to calculate total attenuation, then the length is going to be multiplied. Right? That is alpha into a is equals in That value is called the total attenuation in dv. So what is L? 
L is the effective length, path length for the signal through the ray because the ray density is not uniform over the actual path length. So we are considering the effective path length rather than the actual length, right? So over here, unit number four, that is a radio wave propagation is finished, right? We have seen basic introduction, atmospheric loss, ionospheric effect, and the radio radiation. These are the references which I have used. But still, if you have any question, you can ask me anytime on my email ID. Till then, thank you for your attention.